In this tutorial, we will cover unsupervised classification of a Landsat image in ArcMap 10. For more background information on image classification, be sure to refer to the written version of this tutorial, which is Tutorial 18. This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research, with funding from the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED. Now I'm going to turn on the toolbar for image classification. And I'm going to dock my toolbar by dragging and dropping. On the image classification toolbar, go to the classification menu and select the ISO cluster unsupervised option. The dialog is already filled with the Roanoke image as your input since it's the only one in the map. Change the number of classes to 25. For more on selecting the number of classes, refer to the written version of this tutorial. Rename your raster so you know where to find it. I have a red X above my output file name because I've already run it in my map with the same name. This is just for demonstration purposes. We're going to leave the last three items as defaults. Then click OK. After the tool runs, which may take a moment, you should see a new layer something like this. Your colors may be different than the ones displayed here, but you should see 25 separate classes. If you make a reclass layer with more than 25 classes, you may need to also change the display type to show unique values. I'm going to zoom into Smith Mountain Lake to start trying to identify the different classes. I'm using the Identify tool to find out the pixel value. I know this gray color should be water. I can see that this pixel value is 1. So then I'll come over to the table of contents and change the color for the value of 1 to blue for water. I then want to repeat this with each of the 25 classes and color them according to the four classes that I ultimately want, which are water, urban, agriculture, or forested. I can use the underlying composite image here to help me classify each of the 25 classes. You could also add other reference layers to your map, change the display settings in the image analysis window, and use imagery like Google Earth to help you in identifying the four different classes. Ultimately, you should end up with your image having one of the four distinct colors assigned to each of the 25 classes. Yours may look somewhat different than mine, depending on what choices you made. This can be a tedious process, and it helps if you're familiar with your study area. I want to take a closer look at my classification work, so I'm going to zoom into the city of Roanoke. I can see from my original composite image that I've classified quite a bit of the urban area as forest. This could actually be an issue of not enough spectral classes when I set it to 25 classes. I could try running the classification again and use more classes. But I'm going to go ahead and reclassify this 25 class image down to the four classes that I want. 